from this morning what we're going to do is we're going to work with uh, Ren's memory so we're going to start a little memory retrieve if you're going to start this at home what I would advise is you go to like a very very short lawn or a football pitch so that the dog can see the dummy down uh, or the tennis ball down before you start this um, because Ren has already did that little bit where she has seen it now we're moving on to a slightly longer grassed area um, into a bit of cover and we're going to build up our distance this morning so we're going to start with kind of small I'll show you what we're doing uh, Ren will be on the lead so that I have complete control of her um, but you can see how we get on That worked out well. Um, what I should have said is what you have to do before starting any of these things is build up a drive and interest in whatever it is the dog's going for. So you would wind it up with the ball, you know, and then you bring the ball out at home and make sure the dog really wants it or the dummy. But we have already installed that in Ren that she really loves these things and we praise her a lot. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to put the dummy down make the distance a lot longer. Tracy's gonna pause the camera so you don't have to actually watch me walking and she'll uh, start the camera again whenever I'm about to send the dog, okay? It's all down to that keenness for the dog to want to go and get this this item whatever it is you put down but like, if you want to do it make sure you start off right short grass when you turn the dog around the dog can see the object before you send it once you get that mastered then you move into a heavier grass area bit of cover oh we start very very simple then move harder and harder and harder and as long as the dog is coping with it well, if the dog copes with it well, then you can still progress. But that's good. That's all Ren's going to get today. Thank you.